guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make beef birria. In case you guys want to learn how to make it, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with the ingredients. So for this recipe you're going to need 2 pounds of chuck pot roast, 2 pounds of beef shank, 6 chile california, 4 chile guajillos, 5 chile cascabel, 2 chile pastillas, 2 chile moritas, 1 white onion cut in half, 4 garlic cloves, 2 tablespoons of vinegar, 1 beef bouillon. Alright guys, so for our spices we're going to need 5 bay leaves, 5 whole cloves, 10 whole black pepper, 1 teaspoon of oregano, 1 teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a stick of cinnamon, 1 4 teaspoon of ground allspice, 1 4 teaspoon of ground ginger, 1 4 teaspoon of thyme, 1 4 teaspoon of margarine, and 1 4 teaspoon of whole cumin. We're also going to need some garlic salt, extra kosher salt, and pepper. Now these are our ingredients, now let's get started. Alright guys, so before we start working on our sauce, I'm going to start marinating our meat. I'm going to place it on my cutting board here. Okay, and I'm going to add, I'm going to add the vinegar. Drizzle some like that. So just drop the vinegar all over the meat. So just rub it like that. And then we're gonna season our meat. So I'm just gonna add my kosher salt, my garlic salt, and my pepper. And then just flip it around and make sure that all sides of the meat have the, the salt. And I'm just gonna put it in a bowl so we can put that away while we will start working on our sauce. Okay, right, so here I have a pan. I'm gonna add some vegetable oil. And we're just gonna soften our chiles. And here I have a, a big bowl with three cups of water. So after we dip our, our chiles to the oil, we're going to throw them in our water. And you do not want to fry your chiles. We're just gonna make them a little bit soft because if you do over, if you over fry your chili, you're gonna have a bitter um, taste to them. And that's not what we want. So I'm just gonna wait for my oil to get hot a little, and then we can start working on our chiles. All right guys, so we're just gonna pass it through the oil thing, just for like about one second each side, and that's it. Alright guys, so once we're done, 
we're going to let our, our chiles soak for about five minutes so like that we can start working on our sauce. All right guys, so after five minutes, we're going to add all of our chiles into our blender. Well, the chiles, the onion, and the garlic. water that we had in our bowl. We're going to add three of our bay leaves and then along with all of our spices, the cinnamon, the beef bouillon, and everything else. So now we're just going to blend that. Until everything it until everything becomes a sauce. All right, guys. So once your sauce is soft, we're going to pour it on our meat. All right. So now we're just going to pour our sauce over our meat. So just make sure that all your meat is covered with the sauce. finish up our birria. All right guys, so it is the next day. Our meat has been marinating all night. So now we're just gonna transfer it to a bigger pot. So I'm just gonna do that. All right, so now I'm just gonna transfer it to my pot. Now if you have an ev evaporera, that's gonna be so much easier for you. But this is gonna be just as fine. It smells so good. enough water to cover the meat. So just add enough water. Like that. And we're going to also add our two bay leaves and the half of onion that we have. So now we're just gonna put in the stove top for about three hours on medium heat. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover you guys and let that cook. And like I said, just make sure that you are keeping an eye on your meat. So like that, um, we make sure you know that your meat don't get stuck to your bottom of the pot or it dries. Because we need this to be watery. Alrighty guys, so it's been about an hour now. So I'm just gonna take a look at my meat real quick. And I'm just gonna taste it for salt. So just move it around a little bit so that, like I said, so they don't get stuck in the bottom of your pot. And it smells so good, you guys. So I'll taste it for salt. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I'm just gonna come back in another hour to check on our meat. All right guys, so 30 more minutes, and as you can see, um, the meat needs a little bit more water, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit. So just to cover the meat. 
So we're gonna close it back up. And it probably still needs about another 30 to 45 minutes. So we're just gonna finish. We're just gonna let it finish cooking. All right guys, so it's been three hours. By this time, our meat should be done. And it smells so good. So I'm just gonna take it out. Oh, well, you can check and see if your meat is done, but of course, see, it's already falling apart super easily. So I'm gonna pull it out and so we can start shredding it. And get rid of all the fat and all that. So we're gonna start separating our meat. Alrighty guys, so now that I separated my meat from my stew, I'm going to let that cool down. So like that we can start shredding it. So meanwhile, we're going to start working on our soup. So here, I already have my five tomatoes that I um, roasted, and I already peeled the, I already peeled them. We're going, to, we're going to blend that, and then we're going to use it on our stew. So with our stock here, I'm going to drain it and separate all that, everything from, from my stew. Okay, so the, I have my, my stock here. So I'm just gonna return to the same pot that I used. So it's already, that's what it looks like. Just your stock. All right, so now I'm just going to blend my five um, roasted tomatoes. With half a cup of water. So I'm just gonna blend them until they're soft and you know it becomes a sauce. All right, so now I'm just gonna turn my, my stove back on, medium heat, and I'm going to add my tomato sauce with my, my chile. And I'm going to add just like a pinch of um, oregano. And we're just gonna let that come to a boil. And you can see if you need some more salt, you can add it. So good, I think it's good. So we're just gonna wait for that to come to a boil and then we can start getting our birria plate together. All right guys, so now I'm just gonna start shredding out my meat. Now, this is optional on how you want your pieces to be cut, you know, for your tacos or for your birria, you know. Um, I like to shred it, so for me, that works best. But you can also, you know, cut into like big cubes. Because you can have it as a soup, um, tacos, burritos, or just whatever you, your preference. Alright guys, so our video is finally done. So now we're just gonna put it everything together and it is time to eat. All right guys, so this is our consomme, our soup that we made. Um, if you wanna have it like, you know, your birria in soup style, then we're just gonna add the meat. Just going to add some meat in here. And then top some cilantro and onion. And of course, some lime. And then I made some um, salsa de árbol. I already have the recipe for a video. I already have the video for this recipe, so I will leave it in the corner so you guys can go check it out. You know, if you want your video to be a little bit more spicy, so just gonna add that. And then that's basically your video. So now, if you wanna have it in tacos, of course you're just gonna put some meat in your tortilla and do the same. some lime and some salsa my mouth is so watery and that's your taco and here I made some fried tacos and basically you just fry it with the, the consomme and you just do the same thing 
as well. And then of course you can always have it in a burrito or even on a salad. So this is basically your video, you guys. Super easy and delicious. It's a lot of um of the spices, but it's seriously super easy to make and it's delicious. So I hope you guys give it a try. You guys, enough for the best part. I've been waiting all day for this. Mmm. So good. Seriously, so good. And now for your taco, you can always just dip it into your consomme. Seriously, so good, you guys. Mm -mm. What taco shop? And then this one, the same dip it. Mm. Where's my coke? Super delicious. Alrighty guys, and there you have it. Super easy and delicious video. It's time consuming, but it's seriously so worth it, the wait. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you give this recipe a try, please don't forget to tag me on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, or Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. And hit the little bell so you guys don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.